I'm a stacker. Always will be, through and through. But I am on a quest for the Yankee Constitutional Silver Series. Thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Well, I decided to take a little break from all the high premium bullion we see out there and focus again on the Yankee Constitutional Silver Series. This is my quest to get a typeset, if you will, the major typesets, not all the different uh, varieties, but the major typeset of silver throughout the years, throughout the centuries, for my son, Little Stacks. Um, I, I, I've been trying to teach him uh, the value of real money. And what better way than to show how it's changed over the years. We don't have real money anymore, silver uh, coinage. But by looking back into our history, we can learn something for our future. And I'm trying to teach my son uh, the value of real money. So I'm trying to buy the best quality uh, spe specimens, if you will, of, of silver coinage as far back as I can go. <laughs> and as further back you go, the more expensive it is. And the, unfortunately, the, the, the quality has to drop a little bit in order to, for me to uh, you know, afford it. But hey, I'm having a blast. And I thought, you know, I'm at Tim's. You know, why don't I start rifling through some of his really cool boxes? Hey, check this out. I mean, <laughs> what I wouldn't give to let him back off and say, Yankee, just have at it in my safe. Just pull everything out. <laughs> Maybe one day he will. But, you know, he would bring boxes out. I'd rifle through them. And, and, and I had some pieces that I was hunting for. And I'm going to share with you. Uh, the four pieces I got today, four just beautiful coins. I'm really excited about it, and I hope you'll uh, enjoy uh, letting me show you. So these right here are the ones that I have already uh, collected, and uh, Little Stacks doesn't know about this still. I mean, come on. <laughs> what does he not watch my channel? What's going on? <laughs> no, seriously, he, he doesn't know that I've got these and he doesn't know my plans. I really want to put together a beautiful display of, of silver, constitutional, constitutional silver throughout the years or something. I'm going to put a shadow box together for him. It may take another, I don't know, decade or so more, but I want him to have something special from Yankee is dead. So, you know, I have some of the newer ones. I have a beautiful peace dollar that I actually won. And yes, I am wearing a glove for you people out there. I don't wear gloves when I'm holding my bullion, but numismatic coins, yeah. I, I, you don't really have to, but, you know, if, if I'm going to touch the, the field, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the surface of the coin, I want to make sure that I'm wearing something. All right, so that's a peace dollar that I actually won from uh, Silver Steeler. And I have beautiful Morgan uh, and, and some really neat, you know, a standing uh, a quarter, a barber quarter, a seated that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to actually uh, come back to this in a bit um, just as a way of comparison coming up. Um, but definitely one of my uh, favorites over there. I love the standing too. The detail that you see when you get a coin that is in almost in circulated shape, something like that. I don't have them graded, as you can see. I like raw coins for this uh, type set. I, I want to be able to touch them. I, there's something about, and there's nothing wrong with, with you know, getting uh, you know, numismatic coins graded and slabbed, but... <sighs> There's something about actually holding the coin in your hand that someone touched back in 1921. Again, I, I try not to get any rare dates or mint marks or anything that is going to jack the price up. My goal is, again, just to show my son and maybe generations to come what real money was. So um, I got, uh, of course, the, the Rosie, the Mercury, a Barber dime at the top. Uh, Kennedy and, and um, uh, Benji, but immediately I noticed something glaringly missing here, and that was the walker, the walking Liberty half dollar. <laughs> it It's what our bullion coin is modeled after. So yeah, I mean, I'm stacking this stuff like crazy, right? If, if you love your American Silver Eagles, you're going to love this coin, and it is the walker. 
Look at that. That is a brilliant, uncirculated, walking Liberty half dollar. Didn't have one in this kind of quality. It's really gorgeous. I'm going to zoom in just a bit. There we go. Yeah, the details, obviously, very familiar and iconic design. And then the back, oh yeah, you can see all the leaves, all the feathers and leaves. And yeah, you can see the leaves too over there. <laughs> the detail is just beautiful. And that's just something I really needed to have in the typeset collection. So that one goes right there. The Walking Liberty Half Dollar. All right, let me zoom out. And let's take a look at the next coin I got. Uh, this one, again, I, I focused a lot on the half dollars this time. Whoa, check this out. That is a beautiful 1860, and I think it has the mint mark in the back. Yes, it does right there. Oh, the reverse is really gorgeous. It's a, uh, a Liberty seated half dollar. Beautiful. Man, half doll. <laughs> that that reminds me of the uh, quarter. They said the same thing on the back of it, half doll. Now, yes, uh, you know, the other thing when you're looking at a, what is this, 160-year-old coin, it's no doubt cleaned, right? I mean, around the stars, you can kind of see remnants of it. Listen, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's cleaned, probably. I can't imagine it not being cleaned in this uh, in this state, but I don't care because I really love the fact that, you know, I, I can touch it. It's not behind a bunch of plastic. And, you know, I didn't want to spend an arm and a leg on these coins either. So that is a gorgeous addition in my book uh, to the uh, Yankee Constitutional Silver Series. I really hope that my son, Little Stacks, appreciates this even long after I'm gone. When he looks back and he shares it with his kids and he and he talks about his dad and, and the stacking that he did. Maybe watch his old YouTube videos if YouTube's still around. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they'll download the videos, whatnot. But just this legacy, that that's the other reason I'm doing it, to, to remember uh, his dad by. Um, so that was one of the half dollars, gorgeous coin. Here comes the next one. Check this out, guys. Oh, man, I'm going to zoom in on this. Whoa. This is an 1831 capped bust half dollar. Whoa. Tim said this was in fine, if not very fine condition. Very nice. Actually, I think he did say one side was fine, the other very fine. He said the reverse on this was... Very fine. Wow. Look at that. You don't see that type of craftsmanship now in our coins, I think. That's just so iconic. 50C there. Wow. No mint mark. Very special. This, you know, there are other uh, subtypes or varieties of this and also the flowing hair uh, bust. There's all kinds, and and, and it, it's getting harder and harder for me to get these. Like I mentioned, the further back you go, but uh, I, I'm not done. I'm not done with the half dollars quite yet. Okay, because this is just you know too special, too much fun. Um, I I definitely want to get the next one in line if I can afford it. <laughs> but that one really is cool. So you can see now the half dollars are are filling out. But I had to get one more. And this one was actually more rare than I realized. And in, in fact, a lot of people, I don't even know if they know what this coin is. See if you know what it is. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look very familiar to a lot of you. Right there. 1875. It's an S, mint mark, San Francisco. And I can zoom in just a little bit more so you can appreciate it. Beautiful, huh? It's a seated coin, seated liberty right there. It looks very, very familiar with the uh, seated liberty quarter. But look what it says at the bottom. 20 cents. 
It's an 1875S 20 cent piece. They didn't make many of these folks. Just a, a few years, I believe. Actually, I should probably check how many years. Was it three? Maybe three years of these? I, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, you can see the mint mark at the bottom. Guess why? Guess why they stopped minting these, largely? Well, if you don't know, let me, uh, let me do this. <laughs> let me put that next to the Seated Liberty Quarter. Look at the difference. Very, very similar. Um, I mean, let me just grab both of these and uh, put them right next to each other. Look at that. The problem was people were getting very confused over that 20 cent piece. It was being confused with the quarter and it didn't last long because of that. But it is a very special quarter. In fact, Tim said to me, Yankee, tell me the next time you see a 20 cent piece. Really? And I'm like, well, I don't go to coin shows very often. <laughs> but he said, yeah, even at coin shows, you, you're not going to find many of them. In fact, um, there were only 1,155,000 of these made. Many of them were melted down. Uh, they were returned. People didn't want them because of the similarity between that and the quarter. And they were gotten rid of. <laughs> so anyways, there you have it, guys. This is where the Yankee Constitutional Silver Series is at this point. I've got some gaps here I need to fill, right? Especially when I get into the larger uh, dollar size. But there's a few more and I'm excited to do it. If you have one of the ones I'm missing, I might be interested in purchasing it from you. So give me a ring. Uh, actually, just drop me a line, I should say, on my email address, yankeestacking at gmail.com. Let me know. I might be interested. Until then... Oh, man, maybe I should pick this one. Oh, this beautiful peace dollar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Until then, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.